So now let's see how we can use the set as desktop background feature inside of Microsoft Paint. So here you can see that I have a canvas, but let me just resize this out according to what I like. Now I'm going to drag in some shapes, let's say for example, like stars. And if I were to click over here, and if I were to select solid color and fill, you can see that I can create some shapes. So I'm just going to go around over here and create some more shapes. I'm going to change the color of this one, click and drag this out. So now what I can do is I can go to file and then I can set as desktop background. If I were to click on it, it says you must save the file before choosing it as a desktop background. So I'm just going to say OK and I'm going to save it out in desktop itself without renaming it. And you can see that this is the desktop background now. So if I were to go to file again and if I were to go to set uh, as desktop background, the default option that it selects is the fill. So the image that you see right here is stressed out so that it covers up the entire desktop. So I'm going to go to file and then I'm going to go on to this option. And now what I'm going to do is choose tile option. If I were to choose the tile option, it takes the exact size of the picture and then tiles, tiles it out if the image is not very large. I'm going to go to file again. And if I were to go to set as desktop background and click on center, then it centers out the image just like this. So similarly, you can go around over here, set it out as an entire screen, or you can go around and then set it out, let's say, for example, in the center or work and make it a top. And that is how you can use the set as desktop background feature inside of Microsoft Paint. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.